How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be playing the first mission of Stronghold Legends, the good campaign or King Arthur campaign, also considered the easy campaign. I figured that since Stronghold Legends recently came out with the Steam Edition, now would be as good a time as ever to begin a series to complete the campaigns. Something uh, that I've always wanted to do and I'm going to be playing them on hard. It was the year of our Lord, 450 AD, when the darkness of the tribes came upon us. It could not be stopped, for the darkness had been given the key to our lands. Fortigern, that proud tyrant, had invited those fierce and impious Saxon tribes to settle here, to protect our borders and share food at our tables. But we were betrayed by those we sought to make our brethren, and they overran our lands, leaving the fallows sodden and red with the blood of our people. With the coming of Uther Pendragon, we found new resolve that this tide could be abated. Now that he too has been crushed by its relentless surge, only a few good knights remain on this fractured land. A land without a leader. Without a king. One of Sir Bedivere's foot soldiers has arrived at the castle and informs us that his master has been wounded retreating from the advancing Saxons. He lies in the depths of the forest with a handful of his loyal troops. This knight is furious of nature with the sword and shield, my lord, and would be a formidable ally against the Saxon invaders. Seek him out and bring him back to the security of the castle, but be wary. Those trees contain more than just acorns. Right, okay, so the first part of this three-part chapter, actually, is the coming of the Saxons, and we have to rescue Sir Bedivere. So, I'm going to turn the speed up to 90. Our small encampment in these ruins is all that remains of Uther's army. Our only hope lies in you reaching Sir Bedivere. There is no need to worry about our small settlement, my lord. I will take care of matters here while you rescue Sir Bedivere. So, there are some Saxons that are going to come right away and sort of get close to the walls here, and I want to deal with them before they get involved. Uh, so food is doing okay, but what we can do here is we can make a little bit of extra gold. If we turn up, if we double our food stock, I mean our rations, and these guys did start attacking, just like I was talking about. Okay, we're just going to turn it to four. Anyway, you can make some money that way, but that's not going to be important right now. I'll wait a little bit longer. Did these guys have their throwing spears back yet? No, they don't. So that's going to be quite a bit of time waiting for that, actually. Okay, as you can see, we're making a little bit of gold, which will come in handy for the next part of this mission. Sire, scouts report that the woods between us and Sir Bedivere are overrun with Saxons. You should make your way through these woods with caution. Stay close. Men at arms, forward. I don't really think there's any way to do this mission in a stealthy way. Oh, you would bait them, wouldn't you? Even when they are told to stand their ground, they will not refrain from throwing their spears when they see an enemy. Which is quite unfortunate, in my opinion. If I should just set them to defensive. I think we only lost one so far. As you'll notice in Stronghold Legends Steam Edition, you can really zoom out a long ways compared to the other uh, version of the game. The camera is much more at liberty. I'm not sure if that made any sense. But I've also noticed that some people have complained about a decrease in frame performance due to this new change. And from what I can tell, it's because a lot of the fog of war is lifted off the edges of the map. Before they'd be obscured with fog, but now apparently Firefly not only increased the field of view, but they also 
cleaned up the fog of war a bit. I mean, you don't see any fog of war anywhere. Even if you do quick look. How do you do that? Like this? Look at that. No fog whatsoever. You can actually just see the parts of the map. I mean, that's quite a view distance. And that didn't used to be possible. If you play any of the other... If you play the version of Stronghold Legends before the Steam version, that's definitely going to be a problem. If you want to take a long distance look at something. You're going to see the... Uh, the fog of war pop up. I thought I had them on defensive. I do, and they, they're not attacking. Not sure what that's all about. Okay. So. I want them to get going. And we're going to send Bedivere to the keep right away. I'm sure that my sword arm will prove worthy to you. Since he's the slowest factor in our army here, I'm just <clears throat> going to get a head start. I want him to be moving at all times to speed this up. Otherwise, he drags it on unnecessarily long. Move it. Forward, men. Keep ranks. March. Those are likely the only new patrol that I'm going to have to deal with. Down to 18 men-at-arms. Yeah, the rest of the way is clear. So we can just go back the way we came. And that should actually take care of it. Just have to wait for Sir Bedivere to walk all the way back to the keep. How are the finances doing? We don't have a whole lot of food. But... Oh, we could actually tax more? Yeah, we have overall popularity of plus six. So I'm going to double this. In Stronghold Legends, you get additional popularity from having low population, which helps keep your peasants around the campfire. You know, if you've fallen on hard times and your population decreases, it will you won't run into the situation like in Stronghold Crusader where you would just sort of end up in a vicious cycle of negative popularity that you couldn't get out of. And in Stronghold Crusader, I think how they remedied that was simply by increasing your popularity up to 50 briefly from time to time, even if you fell below it. And in preparation for the next episode, we can delete that broken tower right there. So I can fill it with a wall. Yeah, so this is a three-part episode, which means that we're going to be playing three missions on the same map. So we have, like, one chapter. This is chapter one, but the coming of the Saxons or whatever. And then there are three missions within that map, man. The rescue of Sir Bedivere, of course, is the first mission. And then there are two after that. And we're going to be returning to the same map. And since it's all on the same map and it's all contained within the same chapter, I'm going to be playing all three of them at once, even though they strictly, they're, like, three different victory conditions. Three separate victory conditions for all of them. My lord, in your name. The knights, they do walk obnoxiously slow. I mean, I am... This is 90 speed. This is as fast as the game can be played. And he just takes his sweet time, doesn't he? Could always edit it out, I suppose. Sire. Get up on those balls! With the aid of fine wine and even finer wenches, Sir Bedivere soon returns to full strength and pledges his sword to your cause. Excellent. Wizard Merlin has sent word that he's returning from Ireland to help strengthen your forces. Unfortunately, our spies report that the Saxons are growing in number and have recruited a local tribe of Pictish boat warriors to assault your castle. We must hold out until Merlin arrives. The wizard Merlin has sent word that he's what? returning from Ireland. No, be quiet. Thank goodness so, safely, my lord. what do we want to start doing first? I think we need to put down a couple more apple farms. I imagine you will want to waste no time in preparing our I know, and the sooner you stop talking, the better. And we can actually place down a free woodcutter's camp because... Gee, does he ever shut up? I have to wonder sometimes, but we can put... Just, dude, just be quiet. Don't say anything. I was going to point out that we can build a free woodcutter's hut or camp if we... Shut up! We can build a free woodcutter's camp. 
if we have if we, if we don't have enough wood and uh, we don't have any wood ca camps down we can place one for free or at lo very low cost I think it's free actually so I think we need another hovel now probably should put this somewhere over here because there isn't a whole lot of good land what Wow I got massacred there I probably should start making hmm I was gonna say how did they get how did I lose so many troops really I'm surprised well I don't think it's gonna be too serious we do have Sir Bedivere but I, I'm gonna put these men of the arms behind him the problem with using Sir Bedivere is he is so damn slow I say use him as your main defense ha 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 oh that is funny be you they're destroying my buildings okay <clears throat> It'll go. It'll get better over time. What would you have us do? I don't even know why they decided to re-rally over there. Uh, we just. I think we can start uh, producing some spears now. Too close to the enemy to build. Okay. Well, we can build a barracks over here. And then we can build the armory. And then we can start building more spears. Don't have enough wood. We have two wood camps though, so it shouldn't be a problem. And I do need to rebuild this Woodford farm. And okay, we're we're feeding him extra rations. And I'm gonna turn that down. Yeah, we were losing a lot of popularity because we ran out of the low population bonus. The low population popularity boost. <clears throat> Once you build like even one hovel, it goes away. So you always have to keep an eye on that. Oh, there are more of them. More of our little friends. I'm, I want to put the rally point there. Uh, why didn't they engage better here? It's like they're all okay. They're all standing ground. Is that what happened? Well, anyway, I want everybody aggressive. Turn everybody to aggressive. Gee, just get over here already, you losers! Do something before, besides naval gazing. It's unbelievable. Probably shouldn't have been playing it at 90, huh? Might it be the root cause of all this discord? I don't know. What are you doing, Bedivere? Get over here. And I still don't have enough population, so I'm building another hovel. Probably will get destroyed, but whatever. Oh, look! More Pictish boat morons. My lord, a small group of soldiers are uh, headed to the castle. Not surprising in the least. And building that pole turner that they unceremoniously tore down. That's one thing if you compare like Stronghold to Civilization 4. One thing I like about Civilization 4 is there is not nearly as much interruption. So I can actually form a cogent thought or get something off my mind without being interrupted 20 times. I know I could just turn it off, but it's part of the experience. We're starting to get a bit of an army here now. How many troops? 23. How? Okay. They should also attack from this side. Oh, there they're coming, yeah. Uh, so we should probably just get these guys around the keep. That would probably be the best for me in this situation. So that way they can defend from all three areas. Now, I never understood the message that enemy troops are seen headed to the castle, I think they say. Yeah, heading to the castle. Uh, yeah, they're destroying our buildings. That's not good. I always thought it be, should be... A small group of enemy soldiers are headed towards your castle, because the castle, which castle is the castle? I don't even have an idea. Always threw me for a loop, I guess you could say. They're causing trouble in our economy, of all things. They're trying to cap, they're trying to capture my keep. Knaves. What is up with Sir Bedivere? Can he attack anything? He just doesn't aggro onto anything. I bet. Unfortunately, he's a slow codger as well, just like Sir Bedivere. We're probably suffering some uh, popularity penalties 
because we ran out of hovel or housing space. Why did things have to go so pear shaped? Bedivere, you are the useless. You are one of the worst lords. I do not know what I'm doing wrong with him, but he is useless for me. He's set too aggressive. Why is he not aggroing onto anything? I see him standing around waiting for things to get shot. Or to get destroyed, not shot. What am I talking about there? Well, we won anyway. I've done better, but that will, will do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. There is Merlin. Of course, he stands in the apple orchard. Because why would you go to the keep where it's safe? Get, they, he could get clubbed to death in the apple orchard. Be a fitting end for the mighty the wizard Marilyn. Is grave indeed, youngster. Saxon warlords have taken control of the stone circle to the northeast. The circle marks the last resting place for so many of those who fell defending our lands. Their bodies are one with the earth that first gave birth to them. Buried beneath the sacred sword in the stone, which legend tells can only be removed by the true king of this land. For all our sakes, I hope one is found soon. But for now, we cannot let these savages take our memories from us. For our history will teach us much about the road ahead. Bedivere and I will be there to help you. Oh, I, there's still power in these old bones. The Saxons are massing, my lord, and I think it is us who will be under attack soon. We can build you Fletchers now. Shut up, you stupid scribe. I'm sick of listening to you waffle about nothing. We're gonna build more Fletchers workshops. Don't care, man. Really, I don't. It doesn't seem to matter in the end. Yes, my lord. Oh, great. Merlin's on the keep, finally. And we're going to start producing some bows. Now we can actually start building some walls as well. So, let's do that. If we build walls here, it'll stop the sea-based attacks. Which will reduce the amount of chaos in my lands quite significantly. Having those morons tromp all over everything. Uh... That looks pretty secure. And then we have that side secured as well. Okay, great. Like I said, that should really reduce a lot of the chaotic things that were going on. And then I'm gonna build a gatehouse there so we can exit and... Oh, we're one stone short. Can we buy stone? Yes, we can. I'm gonna buy five more stone and then I'm gonna seal this off. And now we can start... And the castle's enclosed. Excellent. So now we can start recruiting archers as well. And we need... Do we need more wood? No. But well, we do need more... Apple farms? What? Can we... Oh, come on. I really wanted to fit one more apple farm in that area. Surely I can get one more in here. Can't I? Yeah. We had to delete, delete one in the process, though. Uh, so yeah, just build up some apple farms here. We are under and that way we'll have plenty of gold. And we also need to build more hovels. I did not pay any attention to that attack. But I imagine it will be coming from this side. Yeah, right there they're coming. The green Saxon warriors. So recruit some more archers. Get them on those walls. And then we can start building some more Fletchers. Build four more. I'm not going to build any stone quarries because I should have enough gold coming in just from the food. I'm going to turn the rations up there with double and increase the taxes to extortionate. And what else am I missing here? Overall, I prefer the archers to the men at arms because it, I don't have to wait for them to recharge after they throw a spear. And they also have much better range, I think. What? No. How are they destroying our buildings? Oh, I have a catapult over here. Okay, actually men at arms would be good at taking care of that. So have them rally up in front of the gate. And then we're going to recruit some. As a matter of fact, we could use Sir Bedivere. Where is Sir Bedivere? Everybody get to these walls. We don't have to defend the keep anymore. And Bedivere can... He should be able to ride a horse. Yeah, we have enough honor for it. So I'm going to send the horse... Bedivere and the horse over to dispatch this catapult. That is causing mayhem. 
there. Obviously, we don't make much honor. I think we have one stone circle that generates us some passive honor on this map. The rest of these men at arms can go outside the gate. And in case anything, like ladders hit the walls. Merlin is not the most useful troop. He's just usually too slow. Are we still at 90? Yeah, we are. So what am I missing out on here? We could be building. You probably need... What, what, I mean, what are we short on? Maybe we should just build more Fletchers and another Hovel. Make sure we have enough to recruit massive amounts of units at the time. Where are you, where are you guys going? Get it back here. Now, now the aggression works, apparently. Now they will be aggressive. Before they wouldn't, even if it saved their lives. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the way I was grouping them together, but it was not very... I wonder if they just say that randomly. Because I'd turn, I'd get rid of Merlin. He's not worth a hurrah for Merlin interrupting my thoughts. Sorry to say. So, yeah, what we have now in terms of attacks are siege parties coming from right over here and then... On the other side of the map, next to the stone circle, right here, their, their siege party is coming from. And we have, to, we have to capture the stone circle right here. So, not a whole lot in the way, but we need to raise a small army and prevent things like that catapult right there from smashing their way into our keep. Our castle. Men at arms seem to do just fine with that, so I don't think we're going to have to use Sir Bedivere for that anymore. Uh... Build a couple more Fletchers. Still 500 uh, gold. So we're not running out of gold yet. How is our food situation? I could just look up there, as a matter of fact. Don't have to click on the granary. I'm used to clicking on the granary because the older games don't display the food up top. So it's a bit of a habit that I've fallen into. Mostly just a lot of recruiting. How, how many troops do we have? What tests are 74 archers. And there's still a siege camp I could take care of over there. Okay. So, what am I going to do? Everybody get off the walls, except for Merlin. You stay up there. You're too slow to be useful. Since Bedivere now has a horse, I can make better use of him. So, rally up there. The beginnings of our army. Lord. And I'm going to hotkey this so I don't actually have to press it all the time. I mean, select it all the time. And keep recruiting as we can. It really helps that we have the archers now because they can continually fire. They're not limited by the number of uh, spears or arrows held in their quivers. A small group of soldiers are heading to the castle. Deploying. Okay. Which is why I, by and large, favor the archers over the spearmen. I do have a lot of uh, spears, though, so I should use those if I can. And our objective here should be to take care... Uh, not take care of... To take the bridge over here. Okay, one problem, if we actually go into that bridge, those archers will start shooting at us. So we have to make sure that we commit to it. How many more troops do we have? There is no rest. 30 more archers, that's definitely noteworthy. Good. Our bows grow so, I know this is definitely not optimal in terms of my management of these troops, but it doesn't really matter at this stage of the game. I can be suboptimal and still do a decent job of it. I do wish you could adjust the camera a bit more, though. There still isn't a whole lot of uh, what would you have us do? option there. As you say, are under Excellent, sire. We have captured the bridge. While we control this bridge, our castle is safe. Woodsmen have seen a band of enemy troops headed this way. Apparently, they couldn't reach that archer up there from down below.
I uh, probably should keep recruiting here as time allows. Has been granted the gift of the Horn of Camelot, my lord. Once close to our enemy's walls, we can use it to make a breach. Our lives are yours. Watch for me. <clears throat> I'm a bit afraid I don't have enough spears to be the real meat shield here. Recruits needed, sire. Because archers do have less defense. My lord. Yes, my lord. From hand to hand, make attacks. Getting Bedivere a horse again, and then we're going to use his power, the horn on that wall, to open up a big hole in it. First wall down, we're gonna have to wait for the horn to recharge as well, so that also give me some time to replenish my troops here. I sense trouble. Bring the archers over, and the spearmen. Or men at arms, as they are called in Stronghold Legends. Those have changed from the previous versions of the game, where the most useless melee unit was actually a spearman. So they made them a little bit more multi purposed. They could throw their spear, so it gave them a ranged attack in addition to the regular cannon fodder utility that they provided the player with. I thought they said if we captured the bridge, they, we would stop getting invasions. Not too worried about the stockpile at the moment. I mean, obviously we could sell some stuff from it. Uh, what do we have mostly? What do we have? we have a ton of wood. Let's just sell that then. Our troops are under attack. Not for long, they aren't. Pretty massive force here. Unfortunately, our the horn is not recharged yet. So there's really no point of me rushing the wall yet. Are those archers still shooting at me? I think they are. Damn it. What would you have us do? Are they hitting anything? No, I don't think so. They're just shooting. And they can't hit me. Oh, well. As long as I'm not suffering for it. Still waiting for the horn to recharge. Okay. Now the horn is ready to be used again. And open up that kettle of fish. Probably should have waited a bit, but I'm impatient. I mean, that is a lot. Uh, get the spearmen to the front. So fewer of our archers are distracted. We should have more than enough troops here to take the Stolen Circle. I see they keep playing the theme, the Stronghold Legends theme, and then they cut out again. Like that. They started playing it, and then they stopped. They, they cut it out. wonder why. Rush those archers with the spearmen. Should most of the do it, and Sir Bedivere gets the honors of capturing the Stone Circle. Actually, I just wanted Bedivere, but okay. Well, that will make it go faster if I put them all there. Wonderful. So as simple as that. Now, here's an interesting thing. These units start disappearing. If you command them, like over here, there's, I mean, Bedivere just disappeared. You'll see them all disappear. They're just popping off the map. Down to 21. They're all gone. Just like that. I found that slightly interesting. Perplexing. This video was obviously not upgraded to like 1080 quality for the Steam Edition. So I think that pretty much concludes it for mission number one or chapter number one, The Coming of the Saxons. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.